one case uh, that I remember that stands, stands out in my mind was a case that I saw quite a few years ago, like three, four years ago, I think it was. And um, the patient was seeing our hygienist and the hygienist had noticed that the patient had two implants on her two front teeth and the tissue looked very swollen. So I was in the office, they called me in and we looked at the x-rays and we saw that there was uh, pus coming out, suppuration. And so I said, you know, we gotta get this taken care of right now because otherwise what, what can happen is we see a lot more bone loss when we see suppuration around implants around teeth, in fact. So I said, we can do this laser case, uh, laser treatment that I have. The patient said, okay, and we happen to have an hour open in the day. So the patient uh, stayed a little longer and then uh, came in and we ended up treating her uh, with the lapid procedure, which was very simple, straightforward. I didn't have to make sure I didn't need bone grafts or membranes or other things. All I did was have my perioles with me, my um, EMS uh, scaler with me, and that was basically it. Uh, and anesthetic, obviously. Uh, so she came in, we uh, gave her some anesthetic, we uh, probed her, checked to see what the depth of the pockets were, looked at the uh, bone loss around the implants, and went ahead and treated her. The whole procedure took maybe 30, 35 minutes to get completely done, which was nice. Uh, we gave her some prescriptions, let her go. She came back a week later, uh, the swelling had come down, she felt a lot better, there was, no, there was no pus anymore, obviously, and that was one week. And then when I saw her again three weeks later, and everything was looking good, tissue was looking great, and after that I scheduled her for her next maintenance with me. I like to handle a lot of the cases by myself, so I can just follow them. So she came in uh, three months after the initial treatment, and we started looking at uh, the x-rays. We took an x-ray, we didn't see too much, but you're not gonna see something just because of biology, but the tissue looked good. There was no bleeding, there was no pus anymore, which was really great. We saw her again about three months after that, start taking x-rays, and we start seeing bone fill. And we also noticed that the tissue looked denser and thicker, and we hadn't lost any of the aesthetics, which you would kind of find possibly if you do um, traditional types of surgical methods. So that was a nice, that was an added plus. We just followed along for the rest of the year, took x-rays at each time she came in, and we saw the bones staying in, we saw the pockets go down, we started taking pictures to compare, and we saw a pocket that I think was like nine millimeter pocket, 10 millimeter pocket go down to a two and no bleeding or anything. So it was a very successful case. And we've been following over the last few years, taking x-rays uh, at least once or twice a year. And when I can, get another picture to add to my collection for her. And uh, it's turned out great. It's been almost four years now that we've been treating, that we've been seeing her. Uh, she's been seeing hygiene. We haven't seen any recurrence of the uh, original infection, which was great. And um, she's happy with the aesthetics and the bone stays in place and the pockets are down. and. It was just a wonderful case to be able to do in a very short period of time for the patient.